Hi, I am Dr. Dharma Kumar KG, Consultant Surgical Oncologist at Manipal Hospital, Sajapur Road, Bangalore. Today, I will be discussing about the surgical oncology and the role of surgical oncologist in the management of a cancer patient. Surgical oncology is a specialty where surgery is done for the treatment of cancer patient. So, as you all know, uh, uh, cancer treatment involves a multimodality of treatment wherein the surgery is done, chemotherapy is given and the radiation is also required for most of the patients who are affected with cancer uh, diagnosis. So, it is very important to know as a surgeon who is treating with or dealing with the cancer patient to have a holistic knowledge or approach towards the management of cancer patients. Uh, unlike uh, the other specialty doctors, wherein they treat a particular organ or the particular system. As a surgical oncologist, we deal with the management of all cancer which are affected in the body except the brain and the spine cancer, wherein uh, we deal with the adenic cancers like oral cavity cancer, thyroid cancer and the parotid cancer and the breast cancers and uh, thoracic uh, cancers like uh, uh, lung cancer, esophageal cancer and the chest wall cancer. And we also deal with the management of the GI cancer surgeries like uh, stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer and colorectal cancer and we also deal with the management of uh, uh, gynecological cancers like uh, uterine cancer or endometrial cancer and also the ovarian cancer and the cervical cancer and we also deal with the uh, urological cancer management like uh, uh, kidney cancer and the br uh, bladder cancer and the prostate cancer and we of course deal with the management of soft tissue sarcomas though they are rare and we also deal with those cancers also. Uh, unlike other uh, surgeries which are uh, done for uh, uh, non-cancerous uh, 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 diseases wherein we just remove the involved part only but for a cancer surgery it is very important to remove the apart from the affected organ we try to remove uh, adjacent normal structure so that the negative margin is uh, 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 achieved and so that uh, the chance of cure is very high. Uh, along with the removal of the organ, we uh, tend to remove the lymph nodes wherein uh, the cure rate and the radical surgery is achieved in this patient's sense. It is very important for a cancer surgery or a cancer surgeon to do a radical surgery, hence the chances of recurrence and the chances of cure is very high in the sense the recurrence is reduced. If you do an improper surgery or the uh, incorrect surgery, the patient will land up with the early recurrence and the, uh, and the patient may have to undergo uh, um, the adjuvant and the radiation and the chemotherapy for a improper surgical treatment. As a surgical oncologist, we also deal with the diagnostic procedure for the cancer patient like the biopsy of uh, oral cavity malignancies or the breast cancer patient, it, it helps in the diagnosis of the cancer and also uh, we do a, a chemoport insertion in the, uh, which helps in the delivery of a chemotherapy for, uh, uh, for all type of our cancer patient before the surgery or even after the surgery also uh, for new adjuvant chemotherapy and adjuvant and chemotherapy. So conventionally as a surgical oncologist we used to do uh, open surgery for all type of cancer. Now with the advent of uh, all advanced uh, technology we are offering a minimal invasive treatment for even for cancer patients also in the form of uh, laparoscopic surgery and where the facility is available we are or we can offer, uh, offer a robotic surgery for cancer patient. So uh, as a surgical oncologist uh, as I uh, described as I explained we involved in the management of uh, our diagnosis of a cancer patient and also comprehensively we discuss regarding the various treatment aspect of a cancer patient and of course we involve with the uh, surgical treatment of a cancer patient. Hence it is important for any patient who has a suspicious uh, swelling or suspicious of any cancer or if they have any report or ultrasound or CT scan report which is mentioning a tumor, a swelling or a neoplastic lesion or a malignancy or a FNAC report which or by biopsy report which is mentioning as a cancer don't forget to visit an oncologist and get a consultation so that your chances of cure is high as the first treatment is the best treatment for a cancer patient as inadequate first inadequate surgery or first inadequate treatment will lead to a recurrence and the chance of inappropriate management and the, uh, the chance of uh, unnecessary treatment will be more if inadequately treated thank you so much